Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Can you make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel Academy. In this tutorial, I'm just going to explain my biochemistry revision of which my major focus is on amino acid metabolism. Let's quickly look at some few questions. The first question is hydroxyproline and hydroxylysine are formed by hydroxylation of proline and lysine. The reaction is catalyzed by prolyl and lysyl hydroxylase. Which of the following serves as core enzyme? So in this case, if you look at the options, the answer is just C, which is ascorbate. Let's quickly move on and look at the next question. Which enzyme are responsible for producing the direct donor of nitrogen into the pathway producing urea? Which enzyme are responsible for producing the direct donors of nitrogen into the pathway producing urea? So the best answer among us our options is E, which is just aspartate amino transferase and carboxyl phosphate synthetase glutamates and glutamine are nutritionally non-essential amino enzyme the conversion of alpha ketoglutarate to glutamate and glutamine is catalyzed by so the answer like i've already projected is just c which is uh, which is glutamate dehydrogenase and glutamine synthetase. Let's quickly move on and look at the next question. Two days after a full term normal delivery, a neonate begin to hyperventilate, develop hypothermia and cerebral endema, and become comatose. Urinalis review high levels of glutamine and oratic acid burn is below normal which enzyme is most likely to be deficient in this child so if you look at this the answer is just simply e which can be given as the following explanation whereby when we look at the symptoms which have been given the defect is in the urea cycle and the elevated orate suggests deficient of onathine transcarbomylase. Let's quickly move on and look at the next question. The conversion of serine to glycine is catalyzed by an enzyme saline hydroxymethyltransferase. The core substrate required for this reaction is so if you look at the options, the best answer is just C, which is tetrahydrobalterin let's quickly move on a 49 year old man with a rare recessive condition is at high risk for deep vein thrombosis and stroke has had replacements of ectopic lenses he has a normal hematoclit and no evidence of megaloblastic anemia a mutation in the gene according for which of the following is most likely to cause this disease. So if you look at these options, the best option is just A, of which we need to understand that homocytosin, the substrate for the enzyme, accumulates increasing the risk of deep vein thrombosis and disrupting the normal cross-link of fibrin. Deficiency of homocysteine methyltransferase would cause homocysteinuria but would also predispose to megaploblastic anemia. Let's quickly move on. Glutamate and glutamine are critical entry point for free ammonia to enter the metabolic pathway. Which of the following pathway glutamate metabol Lysine is regulated by allosteric inhibitor such as alumine, glycine, and carbamine phosphate. So the answer here is just B, which is um, glutamate synthetase. Let's quickly move on and look at another question. So the next question is a 
69 year old man with a rare recessive condition is at high risk for deep vein thrombosis and stroke and has had replacement of ectopic lenses. He has a normal hematocrit and no evidence of megaloblastic anemia. Amino, amino acid analysis of this patient's plasma would most likely reveal an abnormality elevated level of, of which the answer is just methionine. So we need to understand that only methionine is degraded via the homocysteine um, pathway and would be elevated in the plasma of a sister theonine synthetase deficient patient via activation of homocysteine meth transferase by excess substrate. A 56 year old man with a history of genetic disease undergo hip replacement surgery for arthritis. During the operation, the surgeon notes a dark pigmentation or coronosis in the cartilage. His oclonotic arthritis is most likely caused by oxidation and polymerization of excess tissue. So, if you look at the options, the best answer is just A, which is a homogeneticic acid. So, we need to understand that adults with alcaptonuria show a high prevalence of oclonotic arthritis due to deficiency of homogeneous oxidase. Cysteine is a nutrition non essential amino acid that is synthesized from, so the answer is just D, which is methionine. Let's quickly move on and look at the next question. A woman seven months pregnant with a first child develop anemia. Laboratory evaluation indicates an increased mean cell volume hyper segment neutrophil and altered morphology of several other cell types. The most likely underlying cause of this woman's anemia is, which is just A, which is folate deficient. So pregnant women with megaloblastic anemia and elevated serum homocysteine strongly suggest folate deficient. Iron deficient present at microcytic hypochromic anemia and would not elevate homocysteine. B12 deficiency is not most likely in this presentation. Okay, let's quickly move on and look at the next question. A 64 year old woman is seen by a hematologist for evaluation of a macrocytic anemia. The woman was severely malnourished, both homocysteine and methyl malonate were elevated in her blood and urine and the transskeletal level in her erythrocyte was below normal. What is the best evidence cited that the anemia is due to a primary deficiency of B12? So the answer for this question is simply B, of which you need to understand that methyl amylolase coenzyme A mutase requires B12 but not folate for activity. And then macrocytic anemia elevated homocysteine and macrocytic anemia can be caused by B12 or folate deficient. A 64 year old woman is seen by a hematologist for evaluation of a macrocytic anemia. The woman was severely manonish, both homocysteine and the methyl malonate were elevated in her blood and urine. And the transkeletal level in her erythrocyte were below normal. In response to a B12 deficiency, which of the addition condition may develop in this patient if she is not treated? So for this question, the answer is just simply A. And then uh, we need to understand that Progressive peripheral neuropath is a the destructor, maybe D, but this would be the cause of a B12, not a result of it. Okay, let's quickly move on. 
Ex-two-year-old man being treated for tuberculosis develops a microcytic hypochromic anemia. Ferritin levels are increased and marked side robloastosis is present. A decrease in which of the following enzyme activity is most directly responsible for the anemia in this man. So, the answer for this question is simply D, which is the lysyl oxidase. So, sideroblastic anemia in a person being treated for tuberculosis with isoniazid is most likely due to vitamin E, B6 deficiency. Gamma amino evulinate synthetase, the first enzyme in him synthesis require vitamin B6. Let's quickly move on and look at the next question. Which of the following statement is not true? So we have a lot of options there. Please, you can pause the video and try to read them through and pick up the best answer. But the best answer is just the D, which is asparagine dehydrogenase catalyzed the incorporation of free amino uh, ammonium ion to form aspartate. So asper asparagin dehydrogenase it catalyzes the incorporate of free ammonia ion to form aspartate a 48 year old man developed abdominal colic muscle pain and fatigue following following a three week hospitalization acute inter intermittent porphyria was initially diagnosed based on a high level of urinary gamma amino level linic acid. Subsequently, analysis of the patient's circulated lead blood cells reveals that 70% contained elevated level of zinc, protoporphyrin, and the diagnosis was corrected. The correct diagnosis is most likely to be. So the answer here is just simply. C. And then we need to understand that lead inhibit both ferrocylates, which is increasing the zinc propofurin and also alarm dehydrolase. A three year, a three week old infant has been having intermittent vomiting and convulsion. She also has had episodes of screaming and the hyperventilation the infant has been lethargic between episodes tests reveal an expanded abdomen and blood values show decreased citrulline line amount as well as a decreased band what other clinical outcome would be expected in this infant so for this question the answer is c so the invert has a defect in the urea cycle resulting from the ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency. And then osmine ornithine transcarbamylase deficient whose result in decreased intermediate of the urea cycle, including decreased urea formation as indicated by the decreased band. Then OTC can be diagnosed by elevated oritic acid since carbamium phosphate accumulates in the liver mitochondria and spills into the cytoplasmic entering the pyrimidine synthesis pathway methyl allotic acid in blood which is choice c is seen in vitamin b12 disorder a decreased burn would result in elevated ammonia in blood raising the pH, which is the choice A and D, B. Decreased burn means decreased blood urea, hence decreased urea in urine, which is just talking about choice C. Okay, let's quickly move on. 3-phosphoglycerate is the precursor of all of the following amino acids, except which is just B, which is glycine. A 60-year-old 
Mel present to his family physician with a complaint of a recent onset difficulties in performing activities of daily living. He is a retired factory worker who last worked four years ago. Upon questioning his spouse revealed that he hasn't been able to get around the way he used to. Physical examination reveals a well-nourished 9-year-old man who walks with an exaggerated kypo kyphosis. His gout appears to be quite slow and wide paced. He also appeared to have a resting tremor. The appropriate management of this case would target which of the following. So the answer is just B. So the above case describe a patient with the Parkinson's disease, which is caused by degeneration of the of the substantia nigra. This leads to dopamine deficient in the brain and result in resting tremor, blood kinesia, cogwheeling of the hand joint, and rigid of musculature. In addition, patients are often described as having mass like faces. Dopamine is one of the catecholamines synthesized in a common pathway with no epinephrine and epiphlin. The disease involving amino acid degradation, which is choice A, gangliocide degradation, choice C, and spigolipid degradation, which is just talking about choice E, do not match the presentation seen in the case. N acetyl glutamate is an activator of urea synthesis and is formed from condensation glutamate and acetyl coenzyme A. Which of the following enzymes catalyze this reaction? So the answer here is simple, which is just C. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me. This was Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel Academy.